Welcome to Eugene, Oregon. A picturesque evening here. Perfect counter to the chaos that's about to unfold on this field in front of us. Crowd has been waiting all day. They're fired up to see the Ducks open another season at Austin Stadium, the House of Loud. A top 25 showdown coming up through college football's premier teams preparing to duke it out right here on this field. As we'll see, the number 12 team in the country, the Utah Utes, taking on the fourth-ranked team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Ducks will get us started with the opening kickoff. Fielded in the end zone, it's Parks. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Utah's offense will start this game off. And there he is. When you build a tight end, you build one just like this, especially with those reliable mitts, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, he makes big plays in big games. Watch for him on third down in the red zone. He has a chance to leave an impact in this game. Well, it's so nice to have such a big body that when he's covered, he's open, right? Like, it doesn't matter because he's got great hands and that big frame he can really utilize. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They'll ride the hot hand. Still running at the 40. Quick step and go. Can anyone catch him? He's at the 10. Touchdown, Utah! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. They're on the board first here in the season opener. And these offensive coordinators tell you they want to start fast and they want to establish the run game. That is exactly what you did. First drive, you hand the football off, making the big explosive run, setting the tone for this football. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he capped that one off with some flair and some juice. A 72-yard touchdown run. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Oregon's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. You know, yards figure to be hard to come by through the air, but some quarterbacks, Jesse, just love to go at the star corner. Yeah, and this guy's got confidence. He's not afraid to go at anybody, but he better be careful because this cornerback is one of the best in the nation. One of the best, no doubt. I think they will trust him on defense to make plays. So you got to make a decision. Is my guy good enough to beat him on the outside? I am fascinated by this matchup. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets him out to the 25-yard line. In a competitive conference like the SEC, you just can't afford to stop. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And that's what you're trying to do, not just in this game, but for the season. You're just trying to set the tone defensively, and they do that getting the sack. They feel good about their front seven and all the athletes they have. It'll be fun to watch this unit for the rest of this game and see how they do in one-on-one -on -one situations. He's got great speed. He was working his way on the return for midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Utah has it back in the offense coming onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Throws to the wideout. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. He'll try to take it back. The 30. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Not only did they get the interception, but they're able to get a huge return. Remember, this team practices this all week, right? Once they get the interception, they've got guys turning their heads, and they're looking for blocks. They're looking for people to get a hat on down the field. And with that INT, they now flip it. That could be a big point swing in this game. 
And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown on their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again. Create some momentum. Just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third down, he drops the throw. Couldn't find anybody open, just threw it away, and that's a smart move. You want to avoid the turnover, especially in the red zone. It'll be fourth down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage, so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the end. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him. Maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. He's now up to 83 yards rushing already. You want to talk about establishing the running game. They're doing that in the season opener. On the option. And he keeps it himself. A good decision there, and it gives this offense a first down. The Utes come to the line with a new set of downs. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Utah has the lead here. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Give to the running back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. It'll be a draw. He powers his way ahead, gets three, but they're still looking at fourth and two. And the youth line up to put it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Powers through the defender. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down in the field. And it's a play like that that you just saw which can help them get that ground. Offense breaks the huddle, it's third down. Wide out in motion. Looking to pass, it's Gabriel. He finds his man. The Ducks pick up the first down. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that. 
The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. He fires to the left side. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And here comes the offense on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Got him downfield. Touchdown, Oregon! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, eat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10-7. to seven. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Utah has it back, and the offense coming onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Wide open downfield. A little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking to throw, it's rising. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Fires to the wideout. Lost the defense, he's wide open. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And he had to go a long way to reel that ball in. He started off way on the right, crossed the entire defense, made the catch on the other side of the field. There's an example of how this offense can really attack every corner of the football field. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Snags it! So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, you! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. And he's coming out of the end zone. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the... And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. A ten-yard loss on the play. Second down coming up. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. They'll go to the ground. And he's taken down after a short gain, and that'll do it for us here in the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Eugene as we say hello from our broadcast studios. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. 
and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. Going up top on first down. Finds his tight end. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. A new set of downs after the completion. It's not just a dual threat guy. You go back to Dan Fouts or Bill Musgrave or even Justin Herbert and passers not in short supply for the Ducks. And when you think about the Ducks, you, you always think about the fancy uniforms. I think that's one of the first things that come to mind, but the guys you just named, it's been built on flash, but it's also been built on substance. Great players in their tradition, in their history. And just like now, just in the recent history, Bo Nix, another one of those guys that's put up big numbers. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The give to the tailback. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all dime means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen, the fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Gore right down the boulevard. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And that ball is picked off. And he will step out of bounds, but what a play to get the ball back for his offense. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down, they can be in position. They don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the tournament. First down for this offense. From the gun, the ground game. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Got the first down and still on his feet. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. And the Ducks headed quickly to the line. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. Brings up second down. On the ground, it's James. Defense there to stop him after he picked up a yard. Ball's at the 17. Here on third down, you might want to protect the field goal, but you have to stay aggressive. From the gun, wants to pass. Touchdown, Duck! They take the lead with the six. And this quarterback really does a great job of seeing the defense, seeing what kind of coverage they're in. And I think when this offense goes empty and they spread the defense out, it just makes it so much more simple for the QB to see what the defense is doing pre-snap and then post-snap. You can tell he's playing in a great rhythm right now because he's seeing the field, and these empty sets are really helping him out. Throws to the wideout. And he makes the catch. The two-point conversion is good. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's Stanley. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. 
Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. We're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force a negative play. Trying to pick up a first down. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Back to throw, it's rising. He'll pull it down. Oh, it's on the ground! Live ball! Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. Problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turnover. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Second down coming up. Well, no question where this quarterback is going to be trying to go with the football in this game, right? He's looking for his big play wide out, and the defense knows it. They had him double covered that time. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. The back goes in motion. Third down play from the gun. Catch in the middle. It's Ferguson. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The first down for the offense. Used to play fake, now to throw. Grabbed on the outside, it's Keithy. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. And how about the defense? How big was that stop? Forcing the punt, getting it back to the offense, and all of a sudden, you feel the momentum now on their side. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Utes will send out the punt unit. Man, I think back in the day, this is a no-brainer. You're punting the football and believing your defense. But analytics all the time now telling you to be aggressive. I'm interested to watch this play. Obviously, if you're aggressive, you might can run this clock out and end the football game and not have to put your defense back on the field. They get him down after he makes a catch. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Third down and one, and this is why they call it a gut check. Catch in the middle. It's holding. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out of their own 37. The Ducks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. From the gun, to give, looking for room. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He couldn't get close to the marker, got three yards, but it'll be fourth and three. 
Defense uses a timeout quickly, timeout. trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. They'll throw it on first down. He wants a big play here late. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Fires to the tight end. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. On the move, it's rising. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He wants to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Alfred. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. He's looking for a man on second down. And the pass is incomplete, charged loose by the hit. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught near the sticks, it's McLean. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On second down, they'll take to the air. Feeling some heat. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. It's such a fine line offensively. Late in the game, you've got to score, you've got to make big plays, but you can't turn the football over. Big time mistake. This one might cost him. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. You work all offseason for that, the chance to take a knee and punctuate an opening victory to this season. The old coaching cliche, go 1-0 every week. And for the first week, they get it done. Okay. Great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out, find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work on throughout the season. But 1-0, that's where you wanted to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff of this winning team, you've got to like what you've just seen. First game of the year, there was tremendous effort on the field. Guys flying around, flying to the football, trying to make the plays necessary to win this game. They definitely made a few mistakes, but that's what practice is for. But if you're the coaching staff, I think you're very...